in this final video of question 2, we are going to look at the part which has a lot of marks. Oh my word, look at that. 4 marks and 4 marks for limitations and improvements. Okay, so you will be writing stuff. So hopefully you can write English sentences that an examiner can understand because this one is sent to who knows where, maybe sent to England, not sent to some other country or sent to someone in Malaysia. If they cannot understand you, then they cannot award you marks. Okay, so let's take a look at what are some limitations and improvements that you can do for this cone experiment. Back to this sample question for terminal velocity. At the very end of every paper 3 booklet or past year, you will see this part. It's very standard one. The question is literally the same thing. But the answer is different for each experiment. So state four sources. You must say four sources of error or limitations. What does that mean? Means maybe when you were doing the experiment, you noticed, oh yeah, the fan keep on blowing my cone now. So my cone didn't fall in a straight line fall at the angle. You must write that down because it will be helpful for you. Just make a note somewhere on a piece of paper. That's a source of error. Or limitation maybe could be like, what's an example of limitation? You're like, ah oh yeah, hard to measure time very accurately because of human relation time. It happened too quickly. <laughs> yeah, limitation. So if only human can measure time faster. So that's an example of limitation and uh, errors. Then in the part two, they will ask you, Suggest four improvements, improvement that you can do. You can suggest other apparatus or procedures. Now, these two can be linked. So you got a problem, you can suggest how to fix it here. Or if you have extra ideas how to improve experiment, you can just add it here. But usually, if you have four problems here, you can just put four suggestions here to fix it. Okay. So if you state number one is what? Hard to determine center of circle when measuring diameter. Okay, that's a legit problem. Then the suggestion is, is there something about diameter here? Mm, no, I didn't mention. Well, okay, so we got some, some missing improvement here. Some ways where this thing can be improved. I'm going to show you a rule of thumb how you can make sure that you give the examiner no reason to minus any marks at all. Let's look at the pocket guide again. Welcome to English writing class. No, not English writing class. Well, yes, English writing class, but in a lab situation. Okay, first things first. How do you write? You need to be very specific. This one must be specific. If you just say, oh, parallax error. I measure, I take average. Take average of what? If you just say take average, I have no idea what you are talking about. Full stop. Take average of what? When? How many times? Why? Okay. So here are some things to avoid. I already listed them down here. Don't just say, ah, better equipment as your suggestion. Don't say, oh, parallax error. Parallax error where? What are you measuring? Why suddenly got parallax error floating in the air one? Random error also, huh? Random error from where? What were you doing when, there was ran when you think there was random error? Okay, so be specific. I know some of you lazy to write. Just write the whole sentence. Be as specific. They give you so much space. Fill it up. Number two, don't invent problems. Lah. If you sit there, you're thinking, oh, I don't know what problem is there. Leh. So I just say, oh, my ruler broken. So that's a problem. The oh, table was shaking, so my measurement cannot properly. This one can be causing question marks in your examiner's head. So try not to use this one. Don't lie if you can. Don't say halfway, Um, suddenly, I have no idea what I'm it's very random, uh, just to just halfway or something break. You see, therefore that is a source of error. No, uh, don't don't talk about those kind of things. And the last one, whenever possible, try to avoid problems you should have corrected. This one, whether the examiner will deduct or give you marks based on this, depends on the examiner. Some very strict one, some very lenient. So best you follow the strictest one, uh, you avoid if you can. So try not to talk about Measurements not repeated, first things. Because you should have repeated your measurements any ma. Unless you didn't in your experiment, then okay, you talk about it lah. Cross your fingers. Hopefully the examiner that marked it will accept it. Very risky. You can write, but very risky. Things like zero error in micrometer. You should have checked for zero error in the first place. You should have already calculated for, account for zero error. So if you can, 
try not to write this also. You know, experimenter will say, you should have fixed this. Why you now only you suggest? Ah, yeah. Parallax error also, one more thing, you should have tried your best to, you know, place your eye perpendicular to the scale. But if it's really, really hard, then if you know no other things to write, you can write lah. Okay. So these are kind of like the risky category. You can write this, but it is risky. Not, I cannot guarantee you that every single examiner in the world will accept your uh, errors and improvements here. This one, invent problem, don't lah. Try to, to not write, invent your own problems. Okay. Be specific. Or oh, problem like, oh, my friend disturbed me, so my measurement is wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't write things like that. You want to be scientific, like a scientist in the lab. Okay, so be specific. Yes, please. Let's go back to... I have a whole list of examples, but let's go and see what the student write first in the other side. Now, when you are checking paper three past year papers, it is very helpful that they provide a sample of sources of error in the mask scheme. Every, exam, every experiment is a little bit different, but these are sources of error. Good ideas that you can look through to familiarize yourself with. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. So let's see what some of these. Two sets of reading not enough to draw valid conclusion. You must talk about all this kind of thing. Because now you measure two values of K or Nima. What if you have K1, K2, K3, K4? Isn't that better? Then you can see whether your K is a straight line or not. Ma. For real. Ah. So, this one, okay, if you see your answer in here, confirm you will get a mark. If it's not inside here, it's under the other part. And this is subject to experiment, uh, invigid, subject to your examiner's mercy. Lah. Depends. If they think, okay, they accept, then they accept. If they don't accept, they don't accept. But if your answer is inside here already, confirm you will get the mark for it. Cone may have not reached terminal velocity. Why? Leh? Because your cone, right, you drop it into this area, then you only time. Sometimes your cone, if this distance is too short, ah, your cone haven't reached terminal velocity yet. So maybe you put this higher a bit. That's the suggestion. Ah. So that's one suggestion. Hard to see when the cone strike the floor. Okay, lah, if you are looking at the floor, you put your eye on the floor. Very hard to see. Eh. That's a legit one. Okay, Cone fall at the angle. So maybe instead of falling straight, your cone fall down like that. <laughs> that is a problem also. So as you're doing experiment, whatever it is, if you note that something is very difficult to do, write it down. You can use that for your sources of error later. Human error in timing. Okay, this one is a standard one. Good, you can talk about that. Timing reaction. Difficult to measure diameter because cone flexible. Eh, student mentioned this just now. Your cone, yes, it's like that. But what if you squash a bit? What if it's out of shape a bit? That is difficult to measure. Yep, that's a legit difficulty, a limitation. This one, woo, they happen to include parallax error. So that means for this experiment, they are generous and they'll accept parallax error. At reading position, you must say what you are reading. Okay, so these are the accepted ones. Let's see what the student write. How to de determine center when measuring diameter. Okay, I can give you one for that. Straight away here, difficult to measure diameter. Best if you can say why it was difficult. Cone flexible. So here, they hard to determine center of circle. La. Okay, la, talk more detail. Number two, parallax error. Okay. When measuring time. Good. Talk about parallax error. What are you measuring time? But the next line explains more. That's very important. So, late start stopwatch. The eye level. See the cone drop to the mark. Okay. So, your eye level. La. You're trying to measure time, but your eye level cannot see. That is under... You could say this one, under parallax error or under this one. Hard to see when the cone strikes the floor. Okay, okay lah. Give you one mark for that. Number three, reaction time. Shall I accept this? Ah? Reaction time delay. In measuring what? I'm not satisfied. I might say, hmm, reaction time in what? Because here, yes, you may say human reaction time. And although they didn't say measuring what, but to be safe, to give the examiner no excuse to deduct any marks, we say reaction time in measuring your time for cone to fall. Cone to fall, one meter, whatever lah, be more specific, just in case. Okay, so 
if I'm lenient, I'm like, okay lah, I give you one mark. But be careful, okay? Number four, only one value is calculated instead of three. I know what the student is trying to say, but a better way to say it might be this one. Here. This one. Two sets of reading is not enough to draw valid conclusion. So, only one value is calculated in three. What do you mean by one value? Of what? One value of what? I don't understand. I'm confusion. Instead of three. Why, it's why three for what? Question mark, question mark. So, this one maybe if I'm, I'm confused or I read it, I'm like, I have no idea what you want. Okay, last zero. Because I know I'm no idea what yeah, one value of what, what you're talking about. I have no idea. But if you talk about two sets of reading not enough to draw valid conclusion, then yes, I understand. So maybe this one give three lah. Okay, lo, three, three marks in total for this. So you see how you have to kind of be very specific. It's good to have ideas of what you can do, okay? If you say miss can write more than four, ah. no like ah, can lie, you write one more extra in case one of it got problem. But try to stick to four. You want to write five? Okay lah. Six is kind of stretching it too many already. Okay, let's see. Four improvements. Okay, so you got all this problem. If you can, you go through the same points. Ah, see whether you can improve. So the first one, hard to measure diameter. Is there any suggestion here about that? Because it's easy lah. You already have thing ma. I think the student was trying to talk about that here. Maybe. I don't know. He didn't say or. Multiple measurements of what? I have no idea. Are you measuring diameter? Are you measuring time? I don't know. So how? Maybe lah, if I'm very generous, I'll give you a mark. If not, I'll say I have no idea what you're talking about. So again, let's check. They also give a list of possible ones. Let's see whether they talk about multiple measurements. They are very specific usually when you talk about multiple measurements. Here, maybe, measure the diameter of cone in two directions and average. Yeah, but here the first student didn't say diameter. Or... So, I'll play the strict examiner, I'll say zero. I have no idea what you're trying to measure. There's also one more here. Take more readings and plot a graph calculate ratio. That is, if you're taking more reading for your uh, V and, uh, sorry, your V and T. Diameter V and T, so that you can plot a graph of, what are we plotting against? D, uh, sorry, V against D. Yeah, so if you have many values, like in question 1, then yeah, you take more reading. You can, but you must say, some marks scheme are very strict, they'll say you must talk about plot a graph or calculate ratio. Take more reading alone is not enough. You must say this. Some marks scheme, different one. Huh? So to be the most strictest, you follow the strictest mark scheme. Huh? So this one, although it's correct, but I... I'm not satisfied. I'm not sure what you're trying to measure. If it's diameter and all that stuff, okay, you must say diameter lah of cone. If it's time, then you must say time because you want to plot a graph. So unfortunately, if I play the strict examiner, I won't give you a mark there. Let's look at other things here. Parallax error when measuring time because of I cannot see the flow. Is there something like that? No, you didn't suggest an improvement for that. It's okay. Is there something for that in here? Yep. This one kind of solves the problem. If you use a sensor on the floor or an assistant to see when it reaches the floor, that will be a problem to fix the pro Fix your... That will be a suggestion to fix the problem. Okay. Any other thing about cannot see? Can, then Use light gate to trigger stopwatch or use video camera. With slow motion, must be very specific, to, to multi-flash photography and blah, 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 blah. That, is, that will solve your problem. Oh. You cannot see, you cannot time properly, use video camera uh, with specific settings, slow motion. You must talk about that in very detail. Okay. Alright. So, what other problems are there you can fix? Reaction time delay. Yeah. You can use your video camera, slow motion, sensor, what else kind of thing. Okay, what else? Take multiple... Okay, so that's already lah. No factors like wind to disrupt experiment. Huh? Okay, maybe the problem here was your cone fall at the angle because got wind blowing. So like that. So your cone fall down at the angle. Okay lah. But then, this sentence kind of doesn't make sense. No external factors like wind. 
you want improvement, how to reduce external factors like rain. So I'll say, how to reduce. So this one is what I call a sentence problem. I know you, you're talking about that, but I want an idea. How to reduce your external factors. How? So maybe if I'm strict, I'll say, no, la, I don't give you a mark. So any suggestion here? Let's see, anything about wind problem? No, but, but, how to better phrase this sentence is, you can say, use a windshield. Maybe in chemistry, you may have seen those windshields, you set it up, it's like walls, so that the wind cannot affect your thing. That's a better way to talk about it. Okay, so this student just write, no external factors. How, how, how do you reduce the external factors? Okay, number two, minimize random error. Let go of cone with both hands steadily. Okay, la, this is a okay, okay only. Depending on examiner, maybe, may not accept it. What's a better way to phrase this? Let go of your hand, uh, let go of the cone steadily. Mm. Here, they didn't really talk about it. But something related you could talk about is you drop in front of a rule and read at right like read at eye level. So you put the ruler, you drop right in front of it. Maybe that will help. Okay. Uh, what else? Turn off fans. Oh hey, this one got the wind thing. You turn off the fans. Eh, talk about that lah. Extra strip of tape. Okay. Okay lah. Windshield turn off fans. Don't say aircon ah, because aircon not all the time has very strong wind one. So like, why did I say aircon? Don't turn turn off fan, turn off fan. So this one, okay, okay, if I accept, ne? This one, if got other, if it's well explained, I'll accept. But this one is like, mm, mm, okay, can la? Okay, I'll be merciful, I'll give you one. But some examiner may say, no, don't think that looks correct. Number three, make sure the ruler is perpendicular to the ground so your degree of measurement is correct. Ruler perpendicular. Okay. How do you make sure a ruler is perpendicular though? What do you use? Is there anything about ruler perpendicular here? Look and see. No wall. Not exactly. So, what you could do to improve this sentence is, you say use a use a set square. So set square are those triangle things. To make sure a ruler is perpendicular to the ground so that Degree measurement is correct. Kind of. Okay, like measurement of what? Height is correct. Because you see, the problem is if your ruler is slanted, this is exaggerated, then your height here is a bit different than your one meter already because of the angle. So, okay, I can accept, but I prefer it to be more precise. Talk about height. Last one, take multiple measurements to obtain average value. Yeah, we talk about that. Not sure diameter or time, and let's zoom into this. You see this? Do not allow repeated readings only unless you say plot a graph. So I'm not sure if the student wants to talk about diameter. It's not where was the diameter one maybe? Ah yes here. Measure diameter and average. That one okay. But if you just say repeated reading, you must say plot a graph. Okay, the purpose of that. So this one. Fulfills not neither. I'm not sure you're talking about diameter or readings. So, okay lah, zero lah. So if I'm very strict, this student will only get two marks for this part. Oh my, my. So three and two. Let's add up everything before we look at other suggestions. Just so we have closure. One mark. Two. Um... Did I not award this one here? Oh, I lost one mark here. Okay, okay. So one, two. Then here got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, um, I think here got one more mark also. No, la. one, two, three, four. Okay, so nine. Here, okay, two marks. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16 out of 20. Okay, not too bad. Okay lah. So this part, if you kind of know what you're doing, it's a bit 
wrong on this part. It's still okay. To close off this video, some of you may be concerned now when you see all these things. So it means I have no idea what to write. What to write? Do I memorize every single mark schemes? <laughs> yeah, you could do that if you really have time to do that. But what I have helped you find and compile is every single mark scheme, there are some points, some suggestions and limitations that are kind of the same for all experiments. And we're going to take a look at that now. And that will be a good guideline for you to think of ideas what to write in your limitation and improvements. Okay, so here, for equipment, this is a very good summary. If <clears throat> This one, if you want to memorize, then you have plenty of ideas what to write for your limitation and improvement already. Because this is all taken from different, different mark scheme, compiled together a long list, you see? Very long. Okay, some are from A2, but never mind. So, problems on the left, improvement on the right. I'll just very quickly go through lah. Then you can go and slowly read through it at your own time. Two sets of data recorded, not enough. So, what do you do? Take one reading, but you must say plot graph. Okay, so there already got one idea lah. This one, you can, it's very general. So, you can use for all. All kinds of experiment, you can talk about this point. Definitely, you can talk about this point because you only take two, two or three sets of data. So yes, general, you can use for all. Second one, difficult to check whether rule is vertical. Hey, we talk about this. So whenever there are experiments with ruler, a vertical ruler, yeah, like your ruler, you have to measure something like that one, you can talk about this one. Difficult to check, so you hold set square on the bench against the ruler. So this one is not general, experiments with ruler. Third one, difficult to check whether wooden strip is horizontal. So... If there are things where they need your thing to be perfectly flat and it's not flat, then you can suggest this one. So this one is more specific Edila, for certain experiments with horizontal things that must be horizontal. You will see one. They will talk about, make sure this is horizontal. So you will later your improvement, you talk about that. Lor. What else are general ones? Protractor. When there are angles involved, you can say hard to hold steady. Lor. So you say clamp the projector. Okay lah. But it's also more specific already because you know, this one is when you have projector in your experiment. Okay, what else are the general ones? Friction at pulley. Okay, so this one if you have a pulley, then you can talk about this point. You put oil. Lor. Is the pulley supposed to be smooth? Then you put oil. Next one. Oh, this one if you've got electricity one. If you've got a circuit, you can talk about this. Resistance of contacts. So contacts means your wire at the end, you connect. Maybe it's rusty la, maybe got dirt la. So there'll be some resistance there. Contact is not good. So what you do, you just suggest la, clean the contact. Get rid of dust, dirt, everything. This is for all experiments with circuits. So I'm just going to put something like that. M meter, volt meter. Okay. So good to measure. Something to do with equipment. These are all suggestions and improvements. The general ones must use lah. So you see there already got two. You just need to think of two more ideas. Uh, sorry. This second one is not exactly general. If you've got ruler only, you can... Vertical ruler only, you can talk about that. What other ideas do we have? Don't worry, got a lot. When there are lengths involved. Okay. So when there are lengths... Large percentage uncertainty to measure a small quantity. So let's say you are trying to measure a very small distance. Let's say you're trying to measure this length. And you're trying to use a ruler or vernier to measure that. Vernier calipers. You can suggest, if, you, if, you, if it's specific to the, the experiment, use more precise instrument though. Use micrometer. Yep, your micrometer here. Measure. Yep. Because the problem is, if your measurement is very small, like what I talked about just now, your measurement is 0 0.1 cm, and your uncertainty is 0 0.2 cm, hello, this one is how many percent uncertainty? This is like 0 0.2. 0 0.2 over 0 0.1 times 100. Ah, 200%. <coughs> That's just a bit mind-blowing. So if you use a more precise instrument, 
maybe you'll get 0 0.1, I don't know, I'm just creating numbers, lah, 1, 2, 3, plus minus 0 0.002 cm. Let's see what percentage is this. 0 0.002, 0 0.123 times 100. Eh, I lost my calculation. Yeah, 0 0.002 divided by 0 0.123 times 100. That is 1.6%. Wow, big difference, you know. This one you use a ruler to measure. This one you use, I don't know, maybe micrometer or vernier to measure. So it's the same length, but the precision is much higher. Therefore, you see the percentage of certainty? It's much smaller. That's good. So we can suggest that as an improvement. Next one, difficult to measure small change in length when stretching a metal wire. Oh, this is very specific for young modulus experiments. So young modulus, you are stretching wire. Then you can just suggest use traveling microscope. That one will measure... <coughs> Measure very small change in length. Change in length. Uh. So it's like a vernier scale. But when you pull it a bit, it will measure change already. So uh, yeah, this one, only young modules, you can just talk about this. You see young modules, you know, or straight away can talk about this point already. Next one. Hard to see when object, moving object past a marker. So this one has, uh, is good for any kind of experiment that has moving things. Let's say pendulum. You want to see how many times it swings here and there, but it's hard to see eh. Or like the cone one, you drop from top to bottom. It's like, how to see when it passed the certain line. So anything, you say when it's hard to see an object moving, you can say use sensor, use light gate, or use an assistant to help check. Must talk about details ah, to help see. Lo. Use sensor, light gate, also can. Be specific, ah. don't say use light gate, full stop. Use slice gate to stop, uh, to check when the marker is passed, blah, blah, blah. So moving experiments, you can use this idea. Number three, difficult to measure volume of liquid as your liquid is clear or transparent. So you want to add colored dye to your liquid. So you see this is liquids. Whenever you have experiments related to water, maybe you have measuring cylinder or something like that, you want to measure volume. Yes, you can talk about this one. So this is when there's liquids and volumes involved. Talk about this point. Okay, if it's clear, very hard to see, ma. Or if it's got color, then good lor. Or if you want to see how the the liquid flow down, very hard to see eh? But if it's got red color, ah, then you can see like it move from here to here. These are anything to do with liquids. Okay, next one. A last one ah. Yes, this is the last one. Timing related measurements. Good ideas. How many any? Uh? We got two and uh, at least got one. So many ideas. Wow. First one. Wow, this one sure got can use a lot because a lot of timing experiments in CIE. Difficult to time because the event is short or large human error. We are like the cone. Straight away drop, you very hard to time. So you talk about this as your limitation. Then you say video the experiment, play back frame by frame, and use video or use light gate. This one, very general, because a lot of times you have experiments related to time. Alright. Next one. Difficult to release an object without exerting some force. What are some examples? You could think of maybe dropping a block. Maybe. You want to drop the block. But it's kind of hard to do that. Okay. So, uh, experiments that are useful for this are things that are moving. For example, you have a slope, you put the trolley car here, you put a cart over here. Then when it's ready to go, you take out the cart. Lor. So this is what we call a stop. Once you take out a stop, then the object will move. If not, you put your hand there, maybe your hand push a bit, then off already, lor, your data or quali quality of data. Or it could be maybe a ramp, like this. Then you have marble rolling, rolling like that. You put a stop here also, lah. One, two, three, take out the card. Then, that, then you make sure you won't exert external force. Talk about the details. This is generally applicable for moving experiments. So, got things moving around. One. We could talk about this. Next one. Difficult to see the start or end of oscillation because too fast. Okay, So, you can say place marker. Lor. So, maybe pendulum like that. Swing here, swing there. Very hard to see. Eh. So, you put a marker here. Lor. 
put a card or paper, then you can see when it exactly passed the marker. Oh, actually, you can see also this truck thing. If you want to measure when it passed here, you put a marker here, long, put a paper or something, then you will see when it passed. Also for moving things, especially oscillation. Next one, A, eh? got wind again. Object is affected by wind. Also for moving things, if you are trying to drop something, you want to measure how fast it's moving, make sure you turn off fans and air conditioning. Oh, they talk about air conditioning. Okay, la, make a windshield. Sure. Relevant to things that are falling, you drop the ball, you drop the cone, you drop something very light, pendulum maybe, swinging here and there. Okay. Uh, all kinds of stuff. There is one red colour one though. Try not to suggest Oh, take 10 oscillation and divide by 10 to find average. Huh? That one don't suggest, that one you should have already done it in your measurement. Like I talked about earlier in the uncertainty one. If you can, very hard to time, you take 10 oscillation. Okay, so this is many, many ideas. You can screenshot this or go to the link down there to, uh, the video down there to find these documents. Very helpful. Pocket guides when you are out of ideas. So many ideas, you just find four only. Okay, all right, so that's all for this part on limitations and suggestions. Hopefully that was helpful in helping you think about paper three. Like if you notice, question two is very chill one. It's not very picky like question one. Question one say, graph must draw like this. Axis must be this scale. Plot must be like this. Gradient must be triangle. Question two is like, very chill. You want to write what you write lah. I will see whether I accept or not. So make sure you practice out. Take good use of each lab to carefully think through your steps of uncertainty, conclusions, and very importantly, your limitations and suggestions. That's all for this video. All the best in trying your paper tree exam style labs. And yeah, all the best in labs. Try to get full marks. It's hard, but it's not impossible. Okay, bye-bye.